All right, everyone, so here is an update on the single turbo F80. I decided to ditch the bronze wheels and went with some white, a 10 and a half, 20 T37 SLs. This is a 275 35 on a 10 and a half and a 295 35 in the rear on another 10 and a half. So before it was 315 30 and 295, but Kind of went down one size, maybe in the future, maybe put it square, but for now, these were pretty cheap. Second thing, what we were waiting for before was to wire in this uh, mode of reflex. Finally got that all sorted out that I'll do a quick overview on. We got the Vader Solution uh, wiring harness back in, the activation harness to activate the second pump. I'm gonna show a quick walkthrough on that. And all we're really waiting for is the auxiliary pumps here for the like intercooler and heat exchanger stuff. I was gonna reuse the OEM ones, but they're pretty beat up. And I uh, figured for the one time I'm gonna be here and have all the coolant drained, might as well spend the $400 and get some nice ones. I managed to find a Mishimoto intercooler used, which I was looking for. I just didn't wanna buy it new. I've always found a uh, Decent amount used, but they go pretty quick. So, and uh, yeah, let me show you how I ran the uh, auxiliary pump, and then we'll talk about the motive reflex. Uh, the harness that comes with the Vader Solutions pump is gonna work perfectly with the motive reflex. It actually has a plug, the same style as one of the reflexes auxiliary ports. So that's very helpful. What you're gonna do is from here you're going to route the fuse size of the harness up and behind this panel here. Pull this back with one clip that's right here. You're gonna run it through there and hook it up to the battery. Then after that, there's one panel right here. I think it's this one. You'll pop this guy out. And then what I've done is I've routed the harness here. One side obviously goes to the uh, positive negative on the battery terminal, then route it under here. And you don't even need to actually pop off any of the uh, plastics. You can actually just grab it and um, tuck it right under. So tuck it under, following to the front now. I have it all tucked under here, under here, under here, under here. And then you'll come to the firewall area. There's a panel right under here which is this one. And it has two 10 mil nuts. You'll pop that down, disconnect your uh, secondary cigarette port and a light here. Then all the way in the back, see if we can see it. Uh, da, da, da. It's pretty far up there, but if you follow that main harness, you'll, it'll go to like a big grommet that goes into the engine bay. And from there, it feeds right under this fuse box, which will pop out two tabs or fuse box cover. And then to pop this fuse box cover off, there's a tab in here to the right in here, not this one, but this side. And then those wires that go from the grommet come from this box right here. Let's see if we can get a light in there. Come on. So they come right out of that main wire right there and you can feed the other side of the activation harness right up. And what I did too is I just cut a little slit here to um, be able to slide the cable out so then I can put the Fuse box fully on. Make sure the wires are touching. Fuse box fully on and clipped. And then once I put the cover on, I still have access to the um, reflex wires. So for the fuel pump, um, you need to run it to a auxiliary out on the reflex. There is two or three auxiliary outs. Uh, I think three. There's white gray, oh no, I guess there's four. White, gray, 
yellow, and then this harness, which is a red and a purple, is also auxiliary four out, I believe. So this side of the harness is from the activation uh, side, and this is motive, so it goes straight to there, and then with reflex, you can control when your pump turns on. Another thing I did that routes very similar is I ran a micro USB from the reflex through that same hole I cut and through the firewall grommet. And it's not really too necessary, but I guess it'll be helpful at one point. I fed it through here so I can access it if I'm ever in the cabin and I don't have to mess with the engine bay at all. What I did is I dropped this airbag. It sits right, it sits right across here. It's just two big Torx bolts. Just don't disconnect it. And um, if you look in the glove box, there's actually some weird factory, I think they're factory, holes back there. I shove the micro USB through there, then stick your hand up and under from there and you can grab it. And then um, you can have a micro, or you can have a USB access from here. So you can hook it up to your laptop and mess with the uh, reflex. Uh, one more thing. Be careful when you're doing the harness. I don't know what I did. Maybe I, I, mean, I didn't even think I over tightened it, but this negative terminal is leaking a little bit of gas after I put on the um, top nut. So not sure what happened there. Have to mess with it. Maybe put like some sort of gasket maker, but that is a other issue that has now come to my attention. So that's the uh, routing of the activation harness for the secondary fuel pump. I didn't include it in that fuel pump install video because I wasn't too sure when and how I was gonna do it, but luckily there's one other video on YouTube that um, shows a guy doing it on an F30, so pretty much the same. But he actually does not hook it up to reflex. He hooks it up to the, um, I have it in here. He hooks it up to, you can almost see it all the way at the bottom. Uh, a like boost pressure switch so it goes off the um, J pipe there. So instead of that, it'll just be activated with reflex. Okay, so now on to reflex. I um, reached out to a bunch of people. Um, there's again no real write up on how to do the reflex with the S55. I mean, they have like motives, little diagram. Fortunately, I didn't record where the wires actually go, but I'll link a um, diagram that shows it pretty well. So what I did here is I'm gonna have it sitting here. I routed the harness that you tap into the DME up above this piece of plastic. So it goes all behind there. There's a cover that goes across this. I routed the ground right there. Then once we go to the DME connection side, I think it's like map sensor canvas high, low, main power, uh, 12 volts. They're all on the DME here. Obviously terrible time to take a video. Uh, you definitely need to take out your intercooler. You can leave probably the J-pipe in. And I use some of the post taps or whatever they're called to snap into the wires, but I didn't really like them and started using some of the um, red clips you see there. But uh, pretty simple. If you follow the motive diagram, just look at the pins. If you look on the front side of the pins, they usually tell you what order the numbers are in. And then the only one I had some difficulty getting to is the um, map sensor pin. But it was really hard to get to at a weird spot, so we'll figure it out when we get it tuned if I did it right or wrong. But what I did is I just grabbed the yellow wire out of the map sensor uh, harness. That is a lot easier to access and I went ahead and tapped into that instead of tapping it on the DME side. Now, I hope it's the same, you know, yellow wire. Pretty sure it is. And I guess we'll find out, but that's the uh, one lazy shortcut I took. Other than that, uh, I routed it right behind this like brake booster vent line here, so it can't really get completely squished. I'll have some room and uh, yeah. You get your 12 volt from there. The five volt, uh, I'm not too sure about. And the max solenoid, I routed it to the pin 31, which is this white loose wire that comes on the reflex. And then to a 12 volt uh, switch, I believe I took. Actually, it's one of these red and blue or red and light blue harnesses. 
those are auxiliary in uh, extra inputs. So that's pretty much just a little update on the car and how to run the reflex and the secondary pump. Not a complete DIY, but you know, just some tips and tricks since it's kind of hard to find any info on these cars. So that's gonna be it for this little video. If you like what you saw or wanna see more, this is a fully built S55 with a Speedtech top mount kit, EFR 9280, 1300cc port injection, uh, crank hub, solid shifter, RTD shifter, and that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Consider watching some of the other videos building this car, and hopefully we get this on the road pretty soon. See you guys in the next one.